What's up, everybody? Welcome to Full Range Media. I am your host, Most Valuable Pat, and this is WWE Wrestling Recap for the days of March 19th and 20th of 2018. Um, just an overall little recap really quick. Dude, I'm really excited over this week's, um, Raw and SmackDown. It seems to me that they're getting, they're getting a lot better when it comes to quality of show. Um, they have a lot of good matches going on. They have a lot of good, good rivalries starting up, especially SmackDown. I like the fact that they have, you know, that they have a whole bunch of these rivalries coming up right before WrestleMania and they're going to have different things going on in the weeks to come. So we're only three weeks away from from their biggest event of the year, the Super Bowl of Wrestling, which is great. Uh, they had I want to talk about really th- quickly, I want to talk about the very last match at the end of the at the end of the match. At the end of the day. I didn't even know this was even gonna be a match. It was gonna be Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. And they had uh they had the different the I don't even know what kind of a match it was called, uh, the Ultimate Deletion, I guess it was called, and it was in his, in Matt Hardy's like backyard or something like that, which is really kind of funky. They had a big brawl, and it was one one of the most unique matches I've ever seen. I've never seen a match like that before. I mean, I've never seen anybody fight somebody at somebody's house before, which is kind of weird. But you know, Jeff was there and. His wife was there, Matt's wife was there, and his kids was there and stuff like that. It was, it was kind of cool. It was actually kind of a decent, kind of a a new match, and it was kind of neat to see. I really enjoyed watching that, believe it or not. I didn't even know it was a match, but things that they did, and, and you know, then Matt Hardy threw him in the lake, and then Bray Wyatt wasn't gone. So are they going to have another match at WrestleMania? Who Probably. I Hopefully that's going to be their last one, because, I mean, three is enough. They already had one from earlier this year well they had the one on raw which didn't really count and they had another one at the last pay-per-view and now they have this one so i guess there's only two i'm not going to count the one that they had on the anniversary of raw because that was kind of stupid so i'm just going to count the two that they had previously so hopefully this one is going to be is going to be um the last one that they have at WrestleMania for a, for a while. Uh, but other than that, Brock finally decided to show up at Raw. Thank God for that. And, you know, they had Roman out there, and he was supposed to be suspended, and Cranial comes out and says, you know, oh, you know, he's, he's, he'll, he's here, but he's not here yet, blah, blah, blah. And then Roman comes out and does his big, big spiel, talking all that crap and all that kind of stuff and then the security comes out and tries to handcuff him and then Brock Lesnar comes out and beats the crap out of Roman Reigns which is typical it made sense I mean they're really trying to push Brock to be a heel even though everybody likes him more than Roman which is kind of strange but I guess it's because he's probably not coming back and if Brock's not coming back then he wants to go out as a heel because everybody's Say that he's not going to be back. He's going back to he's going back to um, uh, UFC because he wants to he wants to get rid of all the speculation that he took the steroid or not the steroids performance enhancers before before this last match at UFC. So he wants to redeem himself a little bit. That's kind of what I'm hearing around the water cooler, and I don't know if that's true or not, but. We'll see. And I do like the fact that the chance that the that the that the people started saying you deserve it whenever Reigns was strapped into a stretcher. And then and then even still, Brock Lesnar comes back out, pushes him over in the stretcher, and everybody cheers for him again. I mean they're trying really, really hard to make him the heel and they're trying really, really hard to make Roman the face, but it's not really working out. And the people that don't like Roman are not going to change their minds just because Brock doesn't show up for a couple Raws. I mean, you know, they really need to stop pushing them. I, if Roman went heel, man, he could be probably the best heel in the company. No questions asked. But I don't know what the deal is with that. I don't know why Vince doesn't want to do that, but hey, I'm not Vince. So, 
Couldn't really tell you that. But uh, they did have an Asuka versus Alexa Bliss match, which I was actually looking forward to. And, of course, I mean, you know, I'm not even going to tell you who won because you already know who won. But they did announce that they, that Nia Jax will be defending her championship against, or Alexa Bliss will be defending her championship against Nia Jax at WrestleMania. Thank the Lord, because I've been waiting for that for how many weeks have I was I talking about Nia Jax getting screwed out of WrestleMania because Asuka won the Rumble since the Rumble. So, you know, it's great that she's finally getting her opportunity to finally become champion. I think she deserves it more than anybody else. Everybody else, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Everybody else said championships on Raw that are women in that freaking in that locker room, except for maybe Dana Brooke. She doesn't. She she doesn't really. I don't think that she's a main event caliber type of woman to be in a main event caliber time type of matches. But Nia Jax sure as shit is, and she's not. She's the only one that hasn't won a title yet. She deserves a title. She deserves to keep it for a while. She deserves to have new competitors from NXT come up and fa- and challenge her and face her. And I think that she can hold the reins for even. And and this is for like, you know, I know they talk about. You know, all these, like, model-looking girls are the ones that win the championships. You know, uh, Sasha and Bailey and Alexa and Mickey James and Charlotte and Becky Lynch and all those girls from SmackDown and Naomi, they're all pretty, right? Well, she's not the typical pretty girl, you know what I'm saying? But she's awesome, and she said that just it just kind of shows that she needs to, that she can, it, you know, it doesn't matter who you are. You can do whatever you want to do. You can if, you if you work hard, you can do whatever you, you want to do and all that kind of stuff. I know it sounds kind of like a... Kind of something I don't want to sound like, but I think I really think that she deserves Nia Jax really deserves this championship more than anybody else does in the business right now. I mean, Alexa Bliss is still my favorite woman wrestler, period. But I think Nia Jax deserves deserves this championship. Then they started talking about Strowman having a partner at WrestleMania. He's got to have a partner, and so who is it going to be? Who is Strowman going to have as a partner against against the bar at WrestleMania? That's going to be the question of the day. And I actually want you guys to put down in the comment section what you guys, who you guys think Braun Strowman's partner is going to be at WrestleMania. Because I really want to know who you guys think. I'm, I, I really hope that Big Cass comes out and that's it's him. I really hope and pray that it's him. That would be great. It's just to ease him back in. He's coming out of a really important, you know, really hard injury for that's like, going to keep him out for a long time. So instead of putting him right back into one-on-one matches, why not put him in matches that he can fight with a partner like Strowman and then, you know, for a couple months, have him win the championships, have them have a couple new tag teams come in have Strowman be a tag team for a little for a little bit, maybe till like SummerSlam ish, because that's like the end of the summer. So May, June, July, August. That's four months. Four months of them being tag team champions, and then maybe right before SummerSlam they lose it and they break it off, and then they have a match at SummerSlam, Braun Strowman versus Big Cass. There you go. There's your four months of Braun Strowman storyline, and Big Cass storyline if he comes back. If he's ready to come back. If he's not ready to come back, then you know you can't do anything about it. But if he does come back, then I think that should be the guy to do it. Um, one other thing, Mark Henry, Mark Henry got inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Nobody's more deserving than he is to be in the WWE Hall of Fame. I like Mark Henry. I've watched him since he came in in 98, I think it was, or 97 or something like that when he came in. So I've been watching him ever since then. He's a standout guy and I actually met him once. Big dude. But he's uh, he does really deserved to be in the Hall of Fame, and very nice guy, and you know he does a lot. Of, I know he does a lot of charity work and all that kind of stuff. So, kudos and congratulations to Mark Henry. I didn't know he retired. I didn't even think he said that he retired, but he deserves it more than anybody else. Um. Then they had Cena, and I want to kind of go, and this is gonna be the last thing I'm gonna talk about. For um, for well, no, I'm gonna talk about one more thing for Raw. But second to last thing I'm gonna talk about for uh, Raw. I already talked about Matt Hardy and stuff like that. So I want to talk about Cena versus Undertaker really quick. 
Cena, you know, he's always had good promos. He's always had good... He was, he's been a good talker, right? But it seems to me that his talking is getting a little bit repetitive. He just has the same stuff. He does the same thing. Over and over and over again. I have so much respect for The Undertaker. Why aren't you coming out and challenging me? But he hasn't said anything. He didn't do anything. He didn't say anything. And... You know, he's probably not going to get an answer until next week or maybe the week after that, until the week before WrestleMania. But, I mean, I don't mind Cena, but, and I don't, I don't mind seeing this match. I really don't. But I think this should be Undertaker's last match. I don't think Undertaker should be in any more matches. <laughs> Period. Just my opinion. Um... One thing I would I would want to see and I do want to see is that if he's in a, one more match, I want to see him as American Badass Undertaker, not traditional Undertaker. I want to see American Badass Last Ride Undertaker fight against John Cena and have him retire, beating John Cena at WrestleMania, and that's that. That's what I want to see. That'd be great. Uh, the last order of business for Raw is... About the Intercontinental Championship, they had the Miz, Taraz versus, the Miz and Mr. Oz versus the Balor Club with Seth Rollins doing commentary. So I think this is going to be a fantastic match whenever um, whenever they have this match at WrestleMania where it's Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor versus the Miz. If either one of Seth, either Seth Rollins or Finn Balor win that match, I'd be happy. Miz has to drop it. He should drop it. He should get rid of it. Two deserving people that deserve championships right there should have it done. Period. That's all I got to say about that. It's going to be a good match. I'm excited to see it. But we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I can, I'm really excited to see how they, how this plays out for the rest of the uh, couple weeks before that. So now I want to move on to SmackDown. And SmackDown was such a good day for SmackDown. And I'm just going to jump right into it. The first thing of news that I heard this morning was that Daniel Bryan is cleared to go back to wrestling. How what a great day that is. Wonderful day. He's finally be able to go back and wrestle again. I know he's been waiting for a long time to see it. I know he's been, all the fans have been waiting for a long time to see it. I've been waiting for a long time to see it, to see him come back in wrestling again, just to be a part of wrestling, period. I know he's a part of wrestling as a GM, and that's great. But I miss seeing him wrestle. I really do. And I know he's been training. I know he's been working hard, working his ass off since. I know he's got that routine. And I'm so happy to see him come back. I know that was him saying, you know, thank you to everybody and... All that kind of stuff. I really hope that he's going to make a big impact. And then at the end of the day, at the end of SmackDown, which is what I want to talk about first, because this is important, they had Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn come out, congratulate Daniel for being coming back and all that kind of stuff. And Daniel said for the consequences for having, for attacking Shane last week on SmackDown, he fired Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. So Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens attacked Daniel Bryan. Well, I think you know what that means. I think what that means is that Daniel Bryan and Sami Zayn, or Daniel Bryan and Shane, are going to go up against Shane, uh, uh, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens at WrestleMania. Now that's going to be a lot of fun to watch. I'm actually really, really excited to see that because those are three phenomenal um, wrestlers, and Shane McMahon ain't too bad himself. I mean, you know, I like Shane McMahon too. He's not really a wrestler. I mean, he's more of a, you know, I guess he is a wrestler, but. You know, Daniel Bryan, Sami Zayn, Dan, and Kevin Owens are, are going to be, are going to take that show. And especially now that he's going to be wrestling again. He's wrestling again. It's, it's fantastic. I love it. It's it's great. Um, I saw there was a match between Jimmy Uso versus Luke Harper. Luke Harper pretty much just destroyed, well not destroyed him. It was actually a really good match. It was a pretty even match too. But Harper did end up winning the match at the end. And this is, again, I'm going to say that Usos are going to lose the championships at WrestleMania. There's going to be a lot of title changes at WrestleMania, I feel like. Intercontinental Championship, World Championship, Tag Team Championships on both Raw and SmackDown. Um, U.S. Championship, maybe, maybe not. 
Uh, but I, th I have a feeling that the, the, the women's championships are going to be changing hands. I think both of them. I think there's going to be a lot of changes in championships. And hopefully they change a lot of stuff because they need to. Because Alexa Bliss has been champion too long. Um, Brock's been champion too long. Miz has been champion too long. Uso's been champion too long. They have to change the stuff around a little bit and get some new blood in there. Get some new NXT people coming in and challenging for these tag team championships, the world championships, and well, not, maybe not world championships, but Intercontinental and U.S. championships and all that kind of stuff. I need to get some new blood in there. And I'm really happy that's coming up soon. But that was like the biggest story of the day was that was that Dan O'Brien's back in wrestling. I think it's fantastic. Uh, they had a couple other matches. It was um, Natty versus Charlotte, and they were both on the end of the, on the you know on the ring down in the middle of the ring. And Carmella came out. She just wanted to cash in her, her money in the bank, which she better do soon because another money in the bank is coming soon. Another money in the bank is coming soon, so she better she better cash this in quick because if she doesn't, she's gonna she's gonna blow it. But they had also they had Ty Dillinger versus Baron Corbin, and Baron Corbin ended up winning the match again. He's he's one of the better wrestlers. Hopefully, he starts going for championships too, because he's one of, again one of my favorites. Um. That was pretty much everything on SmackDown. I mean, there was a couple other women's matches too, but, you know, nothing really crazy. They had Rusev versus, oh yeah, they had Rusev versus, uh, versus Shinsuke, which is, which was an awesome match. Man, Shinsuke really knows how to wrestle, man. Jeez. He's such a good wrestler. I can't wait to see that match between him and AJ Styles. It's going to be so good. Man, that's going to be the match of WrestleMania, period. Oh, it's going to be so good. I'm so excited. So, we'll move on here a little bit. We'll go on to um, a few of the rumors that have been running around. And apparently they wanted to change the name of the Battle of the battle Royal. They're calling it... They're not. They don't want to call it the fabulous the the fabulous Moolah Battle Royal anymore. So I don't know if you guys heard about the story or not, but there's a lot of stuff that she did that was messed up. I don't know if you guys watched any of that stuff. She had a whole lot of like a whole lot of accusations of like sexual abuse and like and like physical abuse to the people she, she was training and stuff like that. I don't know if you were, and these are just accusations. I don't know if this is any of this is true or not, but from a couple of people that were, that were trained by her and all that kind of stuff, that she did some shady stuff whenever she was a wrestler back in the day. So I guess they're getting a whole lot of rap about that. And I guess it's really not something are not it's not something that people liked at all so they want to change the name of the fabulous moolah and battle royal so they're thinking about making it something else um it looks like Samoa Joe is gonna is 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 in is trying to trademark for wrestling purposes which is great uh WWE approached Dana Bryan about working WrestleMania 34 weeks ago and Bryan said no because it wouldn't be what he wants and that he wouldn't do much wrestling and it would take no bumps I guess AJ Styles has an injury. Um, looks like Rey Mysterio is still in talks. And then Mark Henry is the final member of the class, of the Hall of Fame class. Uh, let's see. And, I mean, that's pretty much everything. I mean, there's not really anything, a whole lot else to talk about, about the rumor around, about the rumors going around. Um, uh, they're talking about a couple returns. And this looks like Samoa Joe is the big one. Cla uh, let's see, it says here, Cass is close to being cleared and maybe back ahead of schedule. So, hey, that could happen. You never know. Braun Strowman, big Cass. It's good stuff. I like that. I like that. It's very, very good. Um, WWE plans to keep Asuka undefeated until a match with Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania 35. So for another freaking year, she's going to be undefeated. 
Are you serious? Oh my god. I don't want to see that, man. Come on. That's so stupid. Ugh. That's so stupid. That's so stupid. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm not a big fan of that. At all. Having her be undefeated for pretty much like, what, a year and a half, two years? That's just since she's been on Raw. And even and before that, even when she was on NXT. It's unbelievable. That's kinda that's kinda dumb. Not a fan. Not a fan. And what if what if Ronda tanks? What if Ronda's not not uh a good enough wrestler to beat Asuka? That's kinda stupid. I don't like that at all. Not a fan. But anyway, that's gonna pretty much do it. I don't really there's not really much else to talk about. I mean, we have I'm not complaining about anything this week about what happened on Raw and SmackDown because they were actually pretty good shows, believe it or not. I like them a lot, and they're getting better as WrestleMania r r comes around. And you know the Raw after WrestleMania is going to be good, so is SmackDown. And everybody knows that because everybody because it's it's the Raw after, it's the Raw after WrestleMania, the SmackDown after WrestleMania. It's going to be good. So please leave your comments down in the comment section about what you think is going to be Strowman's partner. I said that before. And what's the best match going to be at WrestleMania? I'm kind of curious to hear. I'm here. I'm next to hear you guys' opinions. So if you guys are actually actually watching this video, post a comment down there. I want to know what you guys think. I'm curious. But that's going to do it for our wrestling recap for today or for this week. So we will see you guys next week on Raw. And, you know, maybe uh, hopefully it gets better. I mean, shit. You can't get much better than what's doing right now. But, hey, let's get our hopes up and let's see what goes on. It should be a lot of fun. Hopefully Taker comes back. Um next weekend instead of the weekend after that because i'm pretty sure the weekend after that is is the week before wrestlemania but we'll see should be a lot of fun to watch wrestlemania is gonna be good this year i feel like there's a lot of good matches to see a lot of championships gonna change hands so go in there and watch the four hour wrestlemania it should be a lot of fun but thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like so share and subscribe to uh to this video and to our channel and thank you very much for watching again have a great day. Please don't forget to always enjoy. And we will see you guys later. <laughs>